What? <laughs> right? What do we got here? Oh, dude! I mean, there's so much like mud and stuff in there. I'd say it's only like half an inch that I can see in. Um, Spud is going to come down here and they'll see a couple x rays of it. Okay. It's a real military ordinance, but no. It military. is. What is going on today, guys? Today we are back out here once again. We are on the boat and we are gonna be doing some more magnet fishing. Now, I'm sure some of you guys recognize this spot by now. We have been absolutely pounding this area. Every single time we come here, we stack the cart right to the top. And if you've seen any of our videos here before, you'll know that there used to be 24 sawmills all the way along this river. But today we're not gonna magnet fish on this side. We're actually gonna scoot just to this other side on this other corner, and I have a feeling it's probably gonna be just as juicy. So we're gonna head over there, fingers crossed. Hopefully we find some cool stuff today. Alex is out here today. If you guys would like to check out his channel, that link will be down in the description. If you guys would like to pick up some merch, or if you would like to pick up a magnet, those links will be down in the description guys i do have some brand new merch and you guys check this one out this is the frankie in the can all right guys we are back out here once again today i have my large 360 degree magnet and alex is going to be throwing the exact same magnet now we have not thrown this side of the railroad yet but if it's anything like the other side this side should be absolutely stacked let's not waste any time let's get right down to it start tossing around and see what we can find today was a click there is that gonna stay on I, I think it might you guys first find of the day if I can get it up here yeah here we go what do we got there check it out first thing here looks like one of the old croquet hooks pretty sure this is just some kind of bracket or some kind of brace here you can see the threads on there the old u-shaper other than that looks like ah, uh, actually we have some kind of cap here. A green, I think that says Bud Light. Don't, must be the old Bud Light lime. Nothing too fancy. In a minute. Oh, uh, hey. Um, one of those railroads. Yeah, that's exactly what that is. Holy Ooh. smokes. I got me something with the train running, you guys. Check it out. What? What? <laughs> right? What do we got here? Oh, dude. I think it actually is. No, I think it actually is a missile. Bro. Oh, what? It looks like a flipping RPG. What the heck? Yo. Is that what that is? I'm like freaked out. That could be an RPG, could it really? Oh my gosh, you guys, look it. It's like a warhead. You guys, I honestly, I don't know what to think about this. This honestly has me freaked out. And the only reason I really say that, and it sounds crazy to think that this might be an RPG missile, but somebody that I personally know pulled out a World War II grenade. It was all over the news and everything. The bomb squad came out and it was literally right on the other side of this railroad here. I don't even know what to think. Like, could you imagine if I'm holding an RPG missile? <laughs> I don't know what they look like. Should we call the bomb squad or what? Dude, I don't know. I don't know. I feel stupid calling though and then it's not. You know what I mean? That's the only that's the only problem with that. All right, you guys. So honestly, this is freaking me out even more. Check this picture out. We looked this up on Google. This is literally a picture of the missile warhead and it's got everything labeled. That's exactly what this is. There's almost no doubt about it. It's got the fins on there, the little warhead tip. This is insane, man. We're going to drop this in some water. I have no clue if it could still explode or not we're gonna put this in there and we're gonna give them a call you guys this is crazy all right guys so i'm gonna go ahead and call the non-emergency number and we're gonna see what they say hi uh, i was doing a little bit of magnet fishing here in my boat and i pulled up something 
And this might sound a little silly, but I pulled up something that kind of looks like an RPG missile head. I, I googled a picture of it, and it labels everything out. And I, it sounds kind of silly calling this in, but I don't just want to take something like that to the scrapyard and toss it, if that's what it is. Uh, I have an officer called you first. It's going to show up an unknown or restricted number on the color ID, okay? Okay. I put it in the water just because that's how he found it, but I guess, it, I, mean, I don't know. Oh, wow. Yes. I mean, when you compare the picture, does that not look identical? I mean, it's got the fins on the bottom and everything. I mean, it does look hollow. I mean, it's it's all like, crust, like crusted over on the inside. I mean, there's so much like mud and stuff in there. I'd say it's only like half an inch that I can see in. But it, it doesn't look like it's full or filled to the end. No, there's no holes and it. it's all just crusted over. I was going to fit. It feels miles. like there's some weight, maybe like three to five pounds, a couple, couple pounds. Because on the back end of it, it looks like there's a cap that almost looks like you could like screw it on. So I was going to try to take a picture of like the back end okay. with the light just to see. He just wants to see how like. If it's hollow all the way in. Sure. It, I mean, it does look like it's hollow, but that's what Is that like the around. primer or something on yeah, there? that's what he says. Basically, he says what he thinks it is, is it's most likely a replica, like bazooka round. But obviously, huh. they don't know that unless they take an x-ray of it. So he's going to, I have to send him this picture, and okay. then he'll call me back. And then at that point, they'll decide if they're going to send the bomb squad out or not. Not too much longer. We'll okay. Know. Sounds good. Thanks. of it okay and then at that point if there is like something in it they'll take it okay it should be they said like 45 minutes okay but, so i'll too be bad. here you guys are okay. welcome to hang out so, sounds good right, cool. thanks all right, you guys, we're trying not to get too close. He told us to stay back, but they called the bomb squad and they're actually sending out two different cities bomb squads. Uh, who found it? I did, yeah. I gotta take down your information. Sure. We uh, we reported through batch to ATF, so. Okay. Out. Here's the thing with military ordnance, there's a few that can be unstable if you're messing around with them, right? But for the most part, like, they're designed to be transported, you know, everything sure. else. Um, a lot of these, what they do, they're hobby ones. Guys take them apart, and they're emptied out, or they're inert. People don't know what to do with them when they move or go to get rid of it, and they huh. chuck it in the drink. And so, what we do is we take them, we store them, and then we just counter charge them. Or, I mean, on a, the problem is you can't really throw it in recycling, right? Right, yeah. Oh, that yeah. was the reason I called. I didn't want to toss it in the scrap. Yeah, like... I usually just take them all and counter charge and blow them up. Is this something we stay away for? Or... Uh, Is that why they're bringing it? Is that why they're bringing it over there, though? Well, it's really over there the grass and stuff. So... Oh. The only thing I ask, guys, yeah. are you recording now? Yeah. Yes. Can I tell you something if you mind shutting off for just a second? Sure, sure. Um. So check it out, guys. They're actually over there doing an x-ray of this explosive right now, and they told us to stay back, so that is exactly what we are doing. It's What's that, what? It's a nerf. So it's not, uh, okay. it's not a... I mean, it's a real military ordinance, but no. It it's is, there. okay. So, But it's not going to explode? <laughs> Holy cow. So it is real. <laughs> Two guys just absolutely insane. We found a real military explosive. Now they ended up taking x-rays of it and he said it's inert. So that means it can't explode, but it was still a real military explosive. This is hands down the craziest thing I have found yet in 2023. When I first found it, I was just joking around with Alex because it looked like an RPG missile, like something out of a video game. But once I started looking up pictures and started looking into it it started to get spooky you guys absolutely insane now thankfully it was not loaded that's what he meant when he said it was inert so the bomb squad came out they took a bunch of x-rays of it and at that point that's when he actually asked me to turn my camera off apparently there's a special process that they do with examining these explosives so unfortunately i couldn't film the x-ray process but you 
you guys, does that not make you wonder what the heck else is out there? And now I'm starting to wonder because it was right next to the train where we found it. Maybe back in the day there was trains hauling cargo back and forth and something like that maybe fell off the train. You just never know. Now imagine if that would have been live and loaded. That could have gone down completely different. So much different that I might not even be here to post this video. Something like this is definitely one of those bucket list magnet fishing finds. We were not out there long. I literally made maybe 20 throws. I found a couple rusty bits and pieces, not much. And then we found the explosive almost right away. No doubt we are definitely coming back to this spot, but unfortunately we're closing in on winter. We already have snow on the ground outside as of me filming this outro right now. So unfortunately we're gonna have to wait till spring to get back out to that spot, but I can't wait to see what else is out there. All right, guys, that is gonna wrap our video up here for today. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that thumbs up button for me and don't forget to subscribe, guys. Make sure to stay tuned and I will catch you on the next one.